Hello, I'm Janet. Welcome to this lesson. We are going to write a composition or to tackle an essay from Lidudu Maligani's Memories We Lost. Write a composition on the challenges experienced by the sick girl and her family members, citing illustrations from Lidudu Maligani Mkoboti's Memories We Lost. And this is going to give you 20 marks. Mental health problems bring along with them a myriad of challenges. The patients and the people around them grapple with problems such as injuries, ignorance, misdiagnosis, etc. We should understand these challenges and help make life comfortable for such people. The people's ignorance made it difficult to control the illness. They refer to it as a thing, meaning they have no idea what it is. The narrator likens it to a monster with spikes and horns and an oversized head. She wishes she could see it approaching so as to stop it. They resort to naive ways like involving traditional healers to perform rituals and cleansing ceremony. The mother takes the patient to many sangomas and church and she is given bottles of medication until she is unresponsive. The needless medication only destroys the patient further. They do not understand that she suffers from schizophrenia which is an illness without a cure. Her sister is forced to get rid of the useless medication. The Sangomas and pastors promise that she will be healed but the illness keeps recurring. The villagers cast the illness saying it is caused by demons. When her mother plans to take the sister to a Sangoma called Nkuzi who uses brutal healing methods, the narrator is forced to escape with her sister from home in a bid to protect her. The incomprehension makes the girl suffer even more. The illness makes the patient to run away from home in the middle of the night. The mother and the entire village are abducted from their sleep. Men and boys organized a disoriented search party in small uncoordinated groups. Children are frightened. The entire village searches for her in the darkness facing the risk of plunging down a cliff. They would search and search the whole night. The narrator's father also had the same illness, we are told. He left and on a horse to see distant relatives, but he never returned. He was spotted in some village twice, but did not, did not when someone yelled at him. The narrator has no memory of her father, but she hopes he would return. Again, the illness makes the patient hinge herself and even hurt her sister. She smashes her head on the wall until she bleeds. Her terrified sister grabs her and tries to protect her, but all in vain since she, is, she's, she becomes quite strong. She cracks the wall open with her hand at some point. She throws hot porridge on the sister scalded her chest and scalded her chest. The protective sister protects her by saying that she accidentally poured hot water on herself. She had to run for safety when her sister had unconsciously flung the pot with hot porridge across the room. She did not mean to hurt her sister. She did it unconsciously since when she gained consciousness she is shocked and devastated. Had she known what she had done, she should never have forgiven herself, as her sister says. Mental illness causes again disruption of education for both the patient and her sister. She had to drop out of school. 
she when she's attacked by a bout of schizophrenia she swings a desk across the room and smashes a window when she no she had smashed a chair against a wall and was screaming incoherent words her eyes are red she only comes to her senses when she spots her sister in the crowd after this incident her sister also goes truant she feigns illness to stay at home with her sister she tells her i want to be in the same class with you they stay together doing sketches and the patient convinces the sister to go back to school and even courses with her in a wildling way over the years the girls missed so much school that her younger sister caught up and went to grades higher than her again the sisters are forced to run away from home when the narrator if drops on the mother planning to have a sister taking traditional healer called Nkuzi, not into K, it should be Nkuzi. Let me correct this. should be inclusive sorry for that he lives in a remote village miles away from there he is famous for baking mentally ill people claiming to cure them he would make a fire from cow dung and weeds and then tie the demon possessed person on a zinc roofing and place it on fire and this brutal method resulted in death since the narrator does not know anyone who survived ankuzi's death is baking they flee home at sunset they wander far away from their village to a village she thinks is known as pilani or a village she didn't know as we are told from the text she takes her to hospital sick people and those around them undergo many challenges we should care for such patients with compassion with love and with understanding thank you for watching this video and i hope it helps you improve on your english kindly remember to like to share and to subscribe to this channel see you in the next lesson